Hi guys, welcome to another Master tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at bearings. Now before we start, I'd just like to remind you of the competition that we're having to win £250 each month in 2021. Full details on how to enter will be discussed at the end of this video, so make sure you watch all the way through to the end. So we take a quick overview. A bearing is a movement of travel relative to the position north. Now, the trigonometry is the topic in which we will use to solve bearings questions. And these problems often include navigation situations and tend to be heavily weighted in the problem solving questions. So usually you'll find that these kind of questions are at the end of the paper, predominantly paper two, but they do feature in paper one as well. But we often find that they talk about the movement of cars or predominantly the movement of boats. Now we must use either the sine rule or the cosine rule whenever to solve for a length or an angle. Now if we take a look at the first question, it gives us a ferry and a trawl which receive a request for help from a stranded yacht. Now on the diagram, F, T and Y show the position of the ferry here, the trawler here and the yacht. Now it says that between from F and Y is 7.2 kilometres and 5.6 kilometres between Y and T and 10.3 between F and T. And it wants us to calculate the bearing of the yacht from the trawler. So what this is actually wanting is this angle here. So from here all the way around to this point here. Because a bearing you always start at north and go clockwise until we hit the desired length or line that we're talking about. So we need to find this angle in here. Now if we set this up, we'll use the cosine rule because we know all three sides. So we can use this equation here. Now because we know all three sides, this equation is quite easy. Apart from we have to be careful which one we label A. Now from our videos on using the sine and the cosine rule, I'll put a link in the description to those um, videos. But remember from that that the angle directly opposite the line is its reciprocal capital letter. So here this is capital A and that's what we need to find. So therefore this has to be A. B and C are interchangeable. So we just substitute in the values and then that will give us a value of 0 0.742. Now for A we'll take inverse cos of this and that gives us a value of 42 degrees and that is this proportion in here. So therefore the bearing of y from t is 240 plus 42 which will give us 282 degrees. Now question 2 is, is again it's a yacht and two yachts leave the harbour h so that is here Yacht A sails on a bearing of 72 degrees for 30 kilometres and B sails on a bearing of 140 degrees for 50 kilometres. And we need to determine how far apart the two yachts are after they have both stopped. So we need to find the distance between A and B here. So that's the line that we're trying to find. Now we'll put our position north in here because remember bearings are always regarded beginning at north. Now since we know the angle sandwiched between two sides that means we have to use this equation and again this is for the cosine rule. Now granted we don't know this angle explicitly but we can work it out. So again this is the side that we're needing to find. So this will be A so that means that this angle in here must be capital A and then we know A and A sorry B and C. So we just need to determine what this angle is. Now we know that the yacht A is on a bearing of 72 degrees. So that means from north to this line is 72 degrees. And then we know that B is on a bearing of 140 degrees. So therefore if we take the difference of these away, that will give us this angle in here. So that means our angle is 68 degrees. 
Now we have all the information we need, we can substitute it into this equation, and we can rearrange for the value of a. So we get a value of a to be 47.7 kilometers in distance. And that's how we would go about solving those kind of problems for bearings. Now, as we says at the beginning of the, the lesson, this is your chance to win the £250 giveaway each month in 2021. All you have to do is answer the following question correctly and make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification and any additional videos that you comment on will count as an additional entry to the competition each month. So the more videos that you comment on and you subscribe, the more entries that you will have. So here all we're looking for is we need to calculate the bearing on which the yacht must sail in order to return directly from the harbour. And we are given this schematic here with that set of data. So again, all you have to do is comment the answer and only valid subscribers with the correct answer will be entered into the prize giveaway. So that's the end of this lesson. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next video.